guys how are you so today i'm going to show you how to get good luck support on your samsung phone that doesn't support it there are three major reasons why your phone doesn't or your samsung phone doesn't support good luck the first thing is you're running a one year co version the second thing is you are running a mid ranger with even with full one ui because Good luck support is only for upper mid rangers and flagship. It is not support for entry level devices or for mid rangers. And the third thing is, it's not supported in your region. Uh, but unfortunately, I, I don't have all of those three things in my country. I'm in Pakistan. I don't have good luck support in this region. I'm running a one year core version. I have a very low end device because I'm running one year core version. It also means I have a very low end device. So let me first show you. In the settings, I'm running Samsung Galaxy A03, as you can see, A03s. If I go to software information, you can see I'm running One UI Core version, which is One UI 5.1, which is Android 13. And I, if I go to Galaxy Store to give you a proof, go to search, and then let me search for good luck. You can see there's no applic such application on the App Store or on the Galaxy Store, which means that it's not supported on my device. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to get that. So the first thing we need to do to proceed is to go to Good Luck, in the Play Store. Oh, sorry, and then search for Fine Luck. I've given a link in the video description. So maybe in the future, if they updated their app or you can't able to find it, I've given the link in the video description. So you can just click on that, and you will be directed to this page for download. Uh, and one more thing, it this method is only going to work for Samsung because good luck is only for One UI and that is the only reason why One UI is uh, ahead of other Android skins. So this is a very just small application 1.9 MB as you can see. Just simply click on install to install that. It's very simple. What it does is actually tricks the good luck and says and it makes it feel like yeah this phone supports good luck and I should work on this. So this is just a small sort of like patch kind of thing which makes your phone makes good luck feel or sense like you are running uh, a Samsung phone that supports it. For now, good luck is installed. Let me go to App Store and the apps, and here is it fine luck as you can see. It's a very small application and then it went to install very quickly. Just click on something and now what it does you are gonna get all the modules here as you can see even even though even though there's something called fantastic man you're getting fantastic module on this phone what fantastic does you know that some phones and the Samsung has S Pen like the Note series and the S series you're even going to customize that on your phone which you doesn't even have any sort of S Pen support or anything like that as you can see. so we are even getting those things in here. We are also getting good luck support. So we have to install good luck by the way. Because without that we can't use all of those modules. Some might work but most of them are not going to work. So first thing we need to do is to, to download the good luck. I have given a link in the description as well. So just download that. It's a very small application good luck as well. It's just sort of like 11.5 MB as you can see. I have already downloaded that. So just click on that and simply install this. These all things are official from Samsung except for Fine Lock, which is just a patches type of thing. And as you can see, app installed. Just simply click on done. And it, let me show you where is it. it. As you can see, good luck. Now we have good luck. If, even if you open it, you're not going to be able to use this because it will give you an error like uh, good luck is not supported on your device or anything like that. So you can see there's no module looks showing up in Make Our Life Up. So now let's begin starting with installing modules as you can see let first show you how to customize your phone i'm not creating an entire video i'm just showing you a proof that yeah customizations are now going to work so go to find lock and now let's customize i want to customize this uh task changer let's download task changer and task changer is a more is a feature on in home up module so we have to install download home up so just come up from home up and now we have to download the apk file of home up obviously because we are not able to run good log because now good log is completely confused that whoa how is it possible i'm running one your your 
devices running one year code version which I don't support and it's a very cheap phone but on the other hand the device software is telling me that I'm able to support so that's why it's not showing up the screen to download or run all of those but it's actually doing all of this stuff in the background so which is the main thing to support all of this to work so yes that's working we just need to download the modules for up home up let's click on visit find log by home page now it's going to go to a website from where you can download all the modules here as you can see and we were downloading home up so just search for size home up and then simply clicks on that and there we go home up it's actually android 13 plus if you're running android 13 it's going to work because some of the features might not work with your phone if you're running Android 10 or 11, like this one, it's only supported for Android 13, so you should keep this all in your mind. So now just click on download APK. It's just 22 MB, it's a very small software, but very useful software. So now whatever download is starting, we have to just wait for a few seconds to download. And now click on download anyway, and now our file is being downloaded. Now our APK has been downloaded, so we just have to go into a download folder to access that in the My Files, Internal Storage, Downloads, and here's Home Up. As you can see on the top, the eye, as you can see also the icon is here, so just simply click on that and install it simply. So now Home Up is installed, so just click on Done. Now we're going to see now HomeUp is not showing up on the log on the apps because it's like a small application that's been installed in your system. So now we have to open up Find Lock again. And now just here as you can see, Good Lock. These are not installed, and these are the those who that we have installed. So we have installed Good Lock, and now Good Lock, and now we have to open up HomeUp. So now we have to click on Start. And then you click on allow as you can see now it's right now it's off just turn it on and now we are getting all those features on the home screen we can do everything we want we can control our blur we can control color opacity hide app icons like let me show you i can now hide my app icons on app name uh, label the names i can uh, create a vertical sort of home screen as you can see now we have vertical home screen I can do everything that was before restricted so now I can um, go to task changer and now turn it on now I can even use iOS kind of sort of style with the stack now as you can see we have selected stack here and now here is our stack as you can see iOS sort of style how is it looks Comment below and what's your favorite and as you can see I can do everything I want. I can go to find log and download other modules from here and so obviously some are not going to work as some chess like uh, Pentastic because we don't have an S Pen but other things like Keys Cafe, Sound Assistant and, and everything is going to work perfectly on your phone and you're going to be able to customize it the way you want. So, so if this video was beneficial for you, don't like this video, subscribe to your channel and I will meet you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.